Happy New Year, Royal Knights! We're so excited that you all are back, and we know that 2018 is going to be the best year yet. So we're so excited to have you back, and today we're going to ask that you watch a short video clip from John Gordon, who is a motivational speaker, about how one word can change your life. We're going to ask that you think about what is that one word. Instead of a resolution this year that might be broken for the new year, Think about that one word that's going to drive your life, drive your choices, and make you have the best year yet. We must create a positive vision for the road ahead. It's so important to create that vision because if you can see it, you can create it. If you have a vision, then you also have the power to make it happen. But it starts with that vision that aligns everyone in your club, all your associates, to get on the bus and point in that positive direction towards that vision. And then once you have that vision, it's essential that you reinforce it. Because when, when we leave meetings like this, right, what happens so often? We have our goals, we have our ideas, we have our vision, we go back and everyone's fired up. But what happens a few months later? A few months later, we might lose the vision. So it's so important to reinforce it and to keep that vision alive. It's like, it's like marathon runners. When do most marathon runners quit the marathon? At what mile? Just shout it out. Some would say the first mile. No, you're just getting started so you don't give up. I thought it might be the last mile, but the second least amount of people quit in the last mile. Even though they've been running the longest, they've been running the farthest, they should be the most tired, they don't give up. Why is that? You can see it. Because you can see it, you keep on moving towards it. Even though you're physically tired and drained, the power of the mind, the power of the vision keeps you moving towards it. Most people quit in the 20th mile. That is where we lose our vision. We're physically tired, we're mentally drained, so what happens? We just stop running. So I want to encourage you, keep your vision alive, and it will keep you alive. And I have found a powerful way to keep our vision alive. And it's a one-word vision. One word that we can all use to be our driving force for the year. A one-word vision slash purpose. So three years ago, I started doing this, and my word was purpose. I wanted my purpose to be greater than my challenges. So I had my word for the year, and it made such a difference as I traveled all over the place. I, I focused on my purpose. My wife's word was intentional. She wanted to be more intentional as a mom and stop allowing the distractions from keeping her from being her best. Let's face it, guys. Distractions are the enemy of greatness. Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah. Reality TV exists because people watch it. When I watch the Kardashians, I feel better about my own family. <laughs> but it's a distraction. So my wife said, okay, no more distractions. She focused on her word of intentional. Even did this with my kids. My 12-year-old son came up with the word focus. He wanted to focus more in school and also in the tennis courts. And my daughter, 14 years old, she came up with her word. It was motivation. Great word for her because she needed it. We're at Pepperdine University. I'm speaking to all the students at Pepperdine. She came with me. I'm done speaking. All the students were running up to my daughter. Jay, Jay, is it so encouraging having John Gordon as your dad? Does he just encourage you all the time? She was so serious. She looked at him. She said, yeah, he tries to encourage us, but we don't listen. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay because she has her own word of, of motivation. And now that's become a driving force in her life. So my hope, my goal is that everyone here will leave with a word that becomes your driving force for the year. What's going to drive you to be your best this year? What's going to drive you to bring out the best in your team? And then I want to encourage you to actually have every one of your associates come up with their word. If you go to Hendrick Auto, I've worked with them, and you go to their headquarters, you will see a car in the headquarters of all the words of all the employees on the car. Words like commitment and passion and service and teamwork and dedication. And everyone has a different word that's meant for them. But these words they see every day when they come into work. And it's become an inspiration, a driving source to help them be their best. And I want to encourage you to do the same. Have your word. Have your vision. And let that create a more positive future of where you want to go this year. One word that will change your life.